I got my first camera when I was 12 and it was this one right here which is the 700D. Now I was super excited to use this primarily for shooting videos on however it wasn't until I was 14 where I started to go into the weeds of photography. This was primarily because at the time I was taking media studies which a part of that was photography and my group of friends were all a part of this entire thing and we were always trying to find excuses to go out and take photos when we weren't playing games. Now over the last two years I haven't really done too many photo shoots there's only one really that I can particularly remember remember being a dedicated day for shooting. However, it wasn't until March of this year where me and my girlfriend were going over to Iceland and we ended up just getting an impulsive purchase of an Instax camera, which is this one right here, which is the Instax Mini 40. Personally, I really like the look of this over the other ones. Uh, but yeah, all round, we ended up impulsively buying this at the airport and we took it to Iceland with us. Over this holiday, we ended up taking 16 different Polaroid photos and this was pretty much all different moments. However, there was something different about using this over using a digital camera for me. We ended up taking pictures of waterfalls and the city of Reykjavik and also when we went out onto the water for whale watching and trying to get the northern lights. However, the only reason why we only took 16 is because we had 20 of these things so you have to be very particular about what you want to take photos of and on top of that we were only there for four days in total, two full days, so we ended up taking 16 which kind of encapsulates the whole trip pretty well within at least these Polaroid shots. Now the reason why I'm enjoying using the Polaroid is for the same reason that I think many different creators are jumping into film photography once again over the last year. And that is because you have to be really specific with your shots and be really intentional with it. Whereas when you're using a mirrorless camera or just a normal DSLR, all you can do is just spray and pray at any single moment. You'll have 10 photos of the exact same shots so you can choose that specific thing. So there's never any weird quirks to anything. For example, the shot that you're seeing on screen now is when we were at the Black Sand Beach and this one in particular was really cool purely because it was snowing at the time so you got that little snow effect as well that just kind of added to the image and gave it a bit more character. Now for some more information about the Polaroid you're normally going to find these things for around about £100 give or take normally they are sat at that £100 mark so it is a great price for a lot of people entering into photography or let's say parents wanting to get something for their kids to take photos with and you don't want to spend an astronomical amount of money on a camera right away. However there is one massive catch for example, this film right here, this is just one of 20 that you'll get within a pack. And a pack of 20 will cost you £15 a time, so yes, it does become expensive if you're doing multiple different things. However, this is where I'd say these sorts of Polaroids are great for capturing specific moments that you want to capture. Let's say you're going to go out with a load of your friends and you want to do that. If you're wanting to do it like I use it for, which is when we go on holiday, and we can capture the holidays with Polaroid shots instead, as it means you're spending around about £15 for an entire entire holiday's worth of photos or at least the Polaroid's worth of photos then you have your phone shots your camera shots if you want to do those as well. Now if you are looking to get into photography I wouldn't necessarily recommend getting a Polaroid for two main reasons which is one that hidden cost of getting these things over and over again however the other one is that you don't get to edit your photos which is a big part of photography. Yes you end up getting really cool natural shots within this and you get the Polaroid effect on it however when it comes to editing your photos and going out and taking photos, I'd say editing is about at least 50% minimum of the experience because you've got the taking the photos and then editing them. However, if you are really good at editing or you get very good at it, you can end up making a photo go from something that's decent to absolutely amazing because it takes up 80% of the effort of that photo. Now, what I do really love about using this camera is the sense of sentimentalism that I end up feeling whenever I use this thing because I think it's to do with the whole idea of that once you touch something, you're more likely to buy it. It as it feels as if you kind of own it or that you're getting closer to doing so and because it's a picture that gets printed out right away you end up feeling that sentimentalism of this thing. You end up feeling as if that is actually precious and as if it is yours. It's not like one of those 100 photos you've just taken on your phone of that specific moment so that you can choose out the perfect one. This is the one that has character to it as it's the one that you've had to actually sit and think about before taking the photo. Most importantly though, I have to say that this camera has made me fall back in love with photography. And what I mean by this is that with this camera, you end up having to capture moments of your life and actually having to take time to make sure you get the shot that you kind of want to get. It doesn't have to be perfect but you end up capturing moments of this camera whereas with your phone or with let's say your camera you are just burst firing to get that cool photo that you can post on Instagram whereas these you typically aren't posting on Instagram they are for yourself they are for capturing moments. 
And the main reason why I'm saying that it made me fall back in love with photography is because I feel like it's been a very long time that I'm just taking photos of things for the sake of capturing moments or capturing a day within a few photos and just kind of messing around and trying to get cool photos out of just everyday life instead of trying to perfect something or going out on a dedicated day to shoot something and make a really cool photo. Anyway, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and do subscribe for more content on this channel moving forward. There's going to be more photography content because I got a new camera. That's going to be next week's video that you're going to be looking at. Shot on this, so hopefully it's all good. This is the first video I'm recording with it. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and do subscribe for more content on this channel. I upload tech content, productivity content, and photography content. So there's going to be more photography throughout the year with the new lenses and the new camera and just messing around with a few things. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next week week for a new video.